I would like to thank my friend. Uh, she taught me not to judge people based on the past. I think I'd like to thank my yoga teacher for dealing with my mental and physical inflexibilities. <laughs> I would like to thank my maths teacher. She made me look at the subject that I hated in a completely different perspective. I'd like to thank my grandmother. She's been telling me very great stories about saints. I would like to thank the whole universe because that's always the best teacher. My Tamil teacher. My dance teacher. My physics teacher. My grandfather. Teacher inside myself. My teacher always and uh, who's you know so so persistent and so prominent in my life is my mother the first teacher ever in my life was my mom that would be my mother actually she's been one teacher who stayed with me and is still with me I and mean, she's uh, 96 years old my grandfather was uh, extremely ill and uh, his leg got amputated so he became almost like a child and uh, my mother has taken care of him like uh, like a baby he was her father-in-law and not not many daughter-in-laws have the comfort or that relationship with their father-in-law but she did everything for him and when I mean everything right from feeding him to everything that you can think of and during his uh, you know last few days uh, he called my mom and he folded his hands and he said that you know you're my mother you've taken care of me and you're my mother and thank you for that my guru Pandit Shankar Ghosh has been an incredible inspiration for me he would tell little stories in Tabla language little boy who goes every day to school. The cake man says, go home, it's a holiday. And he's so excited, he dances his way back home. So he goes, Mommy, it's a holiday. And then he runs out to play and mommy makes him study and he runs out again. <laughs> One teacher whom I particularly remember with great fondness is uh, Professor Jayant Prabhu. Uh, what I loved about him is that um, he taught the subject with such passion and with such discipline that even if you didn't know anything about chemistry, you would fall in love with it. And to be able to do that requires a great mastery. And I learned that when you want to teach something and you want to be a great teacher, you should have great mastery of your subject. I think the life is so big and it's not possible you can say only one person had taught you everything. I think every day you learn something. A teacher can be either a source of information or a source of transformation. This is something I realized through a novice teacher when I was in high school. Every teacher was a game, a new one especially, was for sure a big game. This is her first class in the school. She's in our class, which is the worst place to start off <laughs> So when she came and stood next to my bench, I was generous uh, to open up my fountain pen and give out the entire quantity of ink that I had onto her white starched sari, which just soaked it up. And she didn't realize she walked around it with that patch behind her and uh, everybody was giggling. Later on, after the lunch hour, I was asked to come to the staff room. Staff room was not a rare place for me to go. <laughs> I knew somebody has squealed about this. Then when I went there, she asked for my pen. I gave my pen. She took an ink bottle, filled up my pen, closed it and gave it to me. I said, thank you ma'am and came back. But this built such a strong bond with her that she became my favorite teacher. And I realized what the world throws at you is not your choice, but what you make out of it is entirely yours. I think it stayed with me <laughs>